اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم these are the ramadan daily quran studies for the year 2024 written by zahid aziz and produced by Ahmadiyya Anjuman Ishaat Islam Lahore UK Study 20 Can non-Muslims preach their religions to Muslims 2 Several times where the Quran declares some belief held by others to be wrong it asks them to present evidence to support it For example the Quran says and they say none shall enter the garden except he who is a Jew or the Christians. These are their vain desires. Say, bring your proof if you are truthful. 211. <laughs> Here, Jews and Christians are each asked to provide evidence in support of their claim, made by each for its religion, that only they will receive salvation in the life hereafter. These are, says the Quran, mere unproven claims based on their desires. After 2.111, as quoted above, the Quran goes on to say in 2.112, that to receive salvation, you have to submit to God with all your powers and faculties and be a doer of good to people. Salvation cannot be attained by merely holding some belief or belonging to some group. The Quran is requiring the Jews and the Christians to place before Muslims the reasons and grounds for their claim of salvation. How can then Islam at the same time prohibit them from presenting their religions to Muslims? Then we have the following two verses. 1. Or have they taken gods beside him? Say, bring your proof. 21.24 2. Is there a god with Allah? Say, bring your proof, if you are truthful. 2764 In these verses, those who believe in gods alongside the one God, for example idol worshippers, are asked to provide evidence of their beliefs. To present it, they would have to say something in support of their beliefs. It is also well known that the Qur'an challenges those that deny that it is a revelation from God to produce or create a writing to match it. The claim of the Qur'an is that no human writing can approach or equal it in terms of its power, truth, eloquence, disclosure of knowledge, which was unknowable by humans, and its purifying effect on people. The challenge occurs four times in direct terms as follows. 1. And if you are in doubt as to that which we have revealed to our servant, then produce a chapter like it and call on your helpers beside Allah if you are truthful. 2.23 فَأْتُوا بِسُورَةٍ مِّن مِّثْلِهِ وَدْعُوا شُهَدَاءَكُمْ مِّن دُونِ اللَّهِ إِن كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ 2. Or say they, he has forged it? Say, then bring a chapter like it, and call upon whom you can besides Allah, if you are truthful. 10.38 
3. Or say they, He has forged it. Say, Then bring ten forged chapters like it, and call upon whom you can besides Allah, if you are truthful. 11. 13. أَمْ يَقُولُونَ افْتَرَاهُ قُلْ فَأْتُوا بِعَشْرِ سُوَرٍ مِثْلِهِ مُفْتَرَيَاتٍ وَادْعُوا مَنْ اسْتَطَعْتُمْ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ فو سي if people and jinn should combine together to bring the like of this Qur'an, they could not bring the like of it, though they helped one another. 1788 <laughs> In view of the above challenges, Islam cannot then prohibit other people from presenting to Muslims any writing which they consider as equaling or excelling the Qur'an. It would be the height of injustice, as well as deceit, to issue a challenge and then impose a ban on people to answer it. It would be like a competitor trying to win a race by prohibiting anyone else from taking part. Regarding the above challenges, the earliest in time is 1788, which says that no one can produce the like of this Qur'an, meaning the entire Qur'an as revealed up to that point. The next in time is verse 1113. As more of the Qur'an had been revealed by this time, the challenge asks the deniers to produce ten chapters like it. And in the verses revealed last of all, 1038, and then 223, the deniers are asked to produce just one chapter like it, since by this time the Quran itself was much larger than before. In all the four times that this challenge is made, people are told that they may seek the help and support of anyone they can find. So the Prophet Muhammad's challenge was to the whole of mankind with its entire resources of knowledge, scholarship and penmanship. In 1788, the words of the challenge are, if people and jinn should combine together to bring the like of this Qur'an. By comparing this with the other three verses, we see that by jinn here are meant the helpers mentioned in those verses, that is, their leaders and scholars. Since both people and jinn are challenged, it means that the jinn must be a group who can read and understand the Qur'an know how to compose books, and can collaborate with people in producing a composition. Therefore, these jinn cannot be a creation different from human beings. There is no point in asking people and jinn to combine together to answer this challenge unless both of these parties already know each other and can work together to produce a book. Barakallahu lana wa lakum fil Quran al وَنَفَعْنَا وَإِيَّاكُمْ بِالْآيَاتِ وَزِكْرِ الْحَكِيمِ إِنَّهُ تَعْلَى جِوَادٌ كَرِيمٌ بَلَكٌ بَرُّوْ جَوْفُ رَحِيمٌ